What's up with you guys? It is your boy West Coast, and I am live from the grocery store. Told my wife I want to spend more time with her in the morning before she go to work, and her idea was going grocery shopping with her. But yo, we here live in the building, and yo, I see there's a lot of cowboy fans who are pissed off this morning. You are just pissed off. And the reason why you're pissed off is because the NFL has come out and said that they will not be suspending um, Chiefs wide receiver Tariq Hill for his incident for his alleged um, child abuse case. Now, I know a lot of you guys are pissed off, but I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not really mad about it. Actually, I'm actually kind of excited because this lets me know that Roger Goodell is finally doing his job. If you guys remember, the, the, um, the police department actually said in a statement they put out by the NFL that the, that the authorities could not find who actually did the assault. That means that when the police department went and investigated, and when they did, they took their, their people down there and investigated this case, they could not determine whether it was Tariq Hill or his baby mama who actually caused or inflicted this abuse on the child. Now, there are a lot of people out there who are still calling for Tariq Hill to get suspended. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't see how that could be fair. How could the same people who watched Ezekiel Elliott kind of go through this exact same situation where police said that they had no evidence against him will still want somebody suspended? I don't see how that's fair. I understand as Cowboys, we are in our feelings and we kind of upset because why? We've seen our players get bent over the barrel several times. But at the same time, Cowboy Nation, you don't make one bad situation right by screwing another person. That's not how it works. What you want in a situation is the right thing to happen at all times. If the police department said that they felt no, they found no fault in anything that Hill did, or even they could not determine if he did it, then guess what? He should not be a punished. He should not be punished. If he is punished, what is the difference between what Goodell did to us, to Zeke? What would be the difference? It would be no difference. You would have another presumably innocent man getting suspended for something that the police department said that they probably didn't do or could not prove. Do you guys want fair or do you guys want what's right? What's right is this. Whenever there is a situation and the police department gets involved, the NFL needs to wait and allow the police department to do their investigation. Once that investigation is over and closed, whatever that outcome is, that's when the NFL should step in. And to be honest with you, I'm sorry, for the first time they finally got it right. If the police department who get paid to investigate crimes saw that there was no crime committed by Tariq Hill or they could not prove he did it, he should not get suspended. That is the right thing to do. Regardless if you feel that he's getting off lenient or he should have did this with Z, guess what? I'm sorry. You, can't, you cannot fix one wrong in another man's case. It does not work that way. It doesn't work that way. The only thing that we can hope is that the NFL and the commissioner continue on this track. Continue on this trap because you got to remember in Las Vegas. It was the Las Vegas Police Department that came in rescue of Zeke Elliott those It was the police department that spoke up for Zeke and guess what for the first time Goodell believed them So yo, I know Cowboys and fans are screaming across the nation saying that this is not fair and this is that but I'm, I'm gonna ask you guys a question What would be really fair a person getting suspended or getting in trouble? Where the police have deemed that they don't know if they even did it or even was involved in it, would that be fair? No, that would not be fair. And I'm sorry, man, you cannot be yelling Zeke is innocent while the NFL punishes another man who might be innocent. Or they don't even know. But either way, if you're not found guilty, if you're not proven to be guilty, you shouldn't be suspended, period. I don't care if you wear the star or not, you should not be suspended. And I'm gonna be honest with you, you it's a scary world where a person can get in trouble for something they did not do or for something that the, that, the, it, that the law enforcement said that they do not know they did or if they even committed a crime. That's a scary world to live in where you think someone can supersede the laws of the land and still punish you. That's not what we want. That's not what we want. Last thing I'm going to say is this. I told you guys, me and Boss Cowboy told you guys a couple months ago that Roger Goodell is getting out of the punishment business. He's getting out of the punishment business. Why? Because it is hurting his image. Roger Goodell is about making money. He's not about punishing. So what I see going forward is a series of this. If the police department find that there's no fault or they can't determine who was at fault, I don't see punishments coming down. Why? Because it's putting the NFL in a very sticky position. I'm sorry, guys, but I think they got this one right.
Never look down because the star's up. This is Red Williams. Thank you so much for hanging out with us at Dallas Cowboy Scout. Appreciate My it. My man, West Coast, Miss Buck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching West Coast. Shout out West Coast Cowboys. You know, it's always love over here. Raider, Cowboy, always a Cowboy. You did one hell of a job. And the only thing else I got to say is, how about them Cowboys? Yeah!